This semester, I've been able to see more of the advantages and limitations of using Illustrator on the iPad. And one new advantage and limitation I discovered recently, when my students need to do a fashion CAD and fill a sketch with an all over pattern. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikkel Drew Pelham. I talk about digital fashion design, software and communication on this channel. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you fill a flat sketch on the desktop, it's fairly simple to add a pattern to your sketch. You can drop it in the swatches panel, select the closed shapes you want to fill, and then add the pattern to the fill box. Even if it's an image, which most of my students were using for this exercise, you can just drag and drop it into the swatches panel. And again, select your shape and fill it. Not so on the iPad, unfortunately. As of the date of this recording, you still can't add a pattern to your swatches panel on iPad. So to get the fabric into the garment, you need to create a clipping mask. Now, one of the cool things about using iPad is that you can use the grid repeat function to repeat your pattern and make it large enough to cover the shape it needs to go into. And if you're not familiar with the repeat functions available on iPad, make sure you check out this video. Then position your pattern over the shape it's going into, send it to the back, select both the shape and the pattern, choose the object menu, and then make a clipping mask. If you need to edit size or placement of the pattern, just double click the object to temporarily separate the pattern from the object and make it editable, then adjust the pattern. And the grid function is still active so you can use the widgets to adjust the spacing or if necessary, move the pattern. The one thing I've never really loved about the clipping mask on both the desktop and iPad versions is that it removes all the color from the object and only shows the pattern inside the shape. So one thing you will need to do is reselect the object and add back the black outline. So that wasn't too bad, right? Hold on though. Here comes the tricky part. On the sleeves, you'll need to rotate the pattern slightly so that the pattern looks like it's on the proper green. Problem is, you can't rotate the pattern while using the grid function. So here's what you need to do. Take a screenshot and crop it down to the edges of the print. Then click the place icon, go to photos and choose the printed screenshot. Rotate the picture so that it's angled to follow the grain of the sleeve and I would suggest you just rotate it on a 45 degree angle. And the quickest way to move it to that angle is to press the modifier button so that it snaps to 45 degrees. Place it over the sleeve, send it to the back. Select both the pattern and the sleeve and choose make clipping mask from the object menu. You can repeat this process on the other side, rotating it in the opposite direction, but I would suggest you just copy and flip the sleeves to either side. Now note that this won't work for every print, but since this is a random all over print, you don't notice the pattern being flipped or looking as if it's backwards. Continue this process for the neck bands and any other parts of your garment until you've filled it with the pattern. And of course, when you're done, group the sketch. Not too bad, right? A little different than the desktop and a few more steps, but doable. And I think it looks pretty good. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you check out more videos on this channel for more Illustrator for Fashion Design tips. And if you need more formal step-by-step -step instructions, make sure you check out the links in the description to my courses and my Illustrator manual. And they do include Illustrator for iPad tutorials. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you next time.